Hi guys, so we all know that football season has already started and the number one request to eat for football, wings and beer. So tonight we are making double fried spicy chicken wings. In order to get the crispiness on the wings, we're going to use the seasoned flour from Kentucky Colonel. And to kick it up a notch, we're going to use my sweet and spicy wing sauce. So go ahead and get the remote, get your beer, because tonight we're getting homely dope in the kitchen. Welcome into my home and welcome into my kitchen. Actually, my new kitchen. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or you've been here with me since day one of Homely Dope Cooking, you know that we moved back in, I think July or back in June. And um, I took a little hiatus over the summer and I actually did that so I can work on more content, more recipes, so I can bring you guys a better experience with Homely Dope Cooking. So tonight we are doing the double fried crispy chicken wings. So first off, I got my party wings. Basically those are like the drums and the flats. I have them marinating in buttermilk and hot sauce. Now I use the Louisiana hot sauce, but you're welcome to use whatever kind of hot sauce that you like. Um, and I also added two eggs inside of the mixture. Now it's best to let your meat marinate for at least 24 hours. Mine has been marinating, I say, for maybe close to four hours. But whatever time that you are able to get the meat together, that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do is we have the chicken here and we have our flour mixture here. I'm not adding anything to the flour. That's one reason why I like the Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour because you don't have to add anything to it. You can just use it as is. The only other flavoring that we're going to get tonight with the chicken wings is the sweet and spicy sauce that we're also going to make. So first what we're going to do, we have an assembly line. We have our wet, we have our dry. And then after you dredge the chicken, it's best to let it sit for about 15 minutes before you get to frying. So go ahead and mix that around. It's not a pretty mixture, of course, but it's very necessary. Now, before I mix the chicken in the mixture, of course, I cleaned it with uh, my apple cider vinegar, water, and a little bit of lemon. That's a necessity. I know it's been a lot of talk going around with the Dr. Oz video about not washing your chicken and how you are going to get... Um, your family contaminated with salmonella, but listen, I was raised with washing chicken and that's what I do, I wash my chicken. And so actually this flour is a new flour that I kind of looked up on, but actually I can't really take credit for it. My husband actually found it at um, Kroger, if I'm not mistaken. He wanted me to fry some chicken, which I'm not a big chicken fryer. I just feel like whenever I tried to fry chicken, it just never came out. As good as I wanted it to, far as the flavor, or either just, just the, the crispiness of it, or either just the temperature of it. Sometimes I felt like I wasn't cooking my chicken all the way. And so when he left, he went to the store with some flour, and then he came back with this. And so I was like, okay, um, it's worth a try. Let's, let's see how it works out. And then honestly, it worked out very well. Okay, so once I get this chicken done, I'm gonna finish dredging it. I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before frying. It's good to have it as close to room temperature as you can to get a better crispiness of the wing. And then I'm gonna meet you guys at the stove so we can go ahead and get frying. Okay, so before adding your chicken wings to the oil, you wanna make sure that your oil is hot and ready for frying. So basically what I do is I run my hand under some water and I split some of the water in the pot. If it gives me a popcorn pop sound, then that lets me know that it's ready. It's really good to have an oil thermometer on hand because that way you will know the exact temperature of your oil. And when you're frying, you should have your oil between 325 and 350 degrees. Um, also, a great tip is to not overcrowd your pan. Only add several pieces of the chicken wings in your pot at a time because if you overcrowd it, it's going to drop the temperature and then it's going to lead to oily chicken. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we are going to take the chicken wings out. So we all know 10 minutes, the chicken wings are not done. But remember, we're doing a double fry method. So your first fry is going to be for 10 minutes. Um, I 
actually have my baker's rack sitting on top of a sheet pan. And I like using this because it allows the chicken to get the air circulation that it needs. And then also it drains the grease away from the chicken instead of sitting in it like it does when you have it on a paper towel. I picked my baker's rack up from Home Goods. I think it was like maybe $6.99 or $7.99, but I do suggest you pick one up if you can. So get your chicken out, let it rest, and then if you have another batch, go ahead and fry that batch up for 10 minutes and then take that out as well. And then we're going to head over um, to start our double fry. So now it's time for the double fry. So I did two separate batches of chicken and I cooked them both for 10 minutes for the first fry. Now for the second fry, I'm going to vary the time because I want to test it out and kind of see um, what color do you get with what cook time. So the batch that I'm taking out now, they're going to be my fry hard batch. The cook time that I did for the second fry with these wings are 8 minutes. This way, you get a harder fry, a crispier crunch, crispier, <laughs> crispier, um, yeah, crispier crunch, yeah, that's right, and then um, a golden brown um, look to it. Now, the batch at the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to cook those for five minutes, and that way, you'll get a more of a restaurant-style quality with those. Um, I know when we typically order wings, I always tell them to fry them hard because in my opinion with restaurants, they just don't fry them hard enough for me. And then also the texture, I'm not really a fan of. Um, but like I said, if you're hosting people, this is, a, this is a surefire way to satisfy everyone's taste. So go ahead and finish frying up your um, second batch of chicken and then we're going to head over to make the sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this sauce going. So here we have our Louisiana hot sauce, and you're more than welcome to use your favorite brand. Don't worry about the measurements. I'm going to have them listed below in the description box. Here we have the brown sugar, and that's going to help bring down um, some of the heat and add the sweetness. And then we have a, a mixture of mixed garlic and Worcestershire sauce. And now if you're not a garlic fan, you would still like this sauce because the garlic flavor isn't overpowering. Um, but if you do want to take it out, that's fine, but I suggest you keep it in because it does add a flavor level to the sauce. And here we have our raw and unfiltered honey. And we're going to add that in. That's another element of sweetness to build upon with the brown sugar. So make sure you get all that in. And next up, we're going to do our butter. It should be about one or two tablespoons. It helps with the creaminess and then it also helps bring down some of the heat because this sauce is pretty spicy. So, ah, spirit fingers. You know what? Drop down below and let me know what movie I got that from. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and ease that pot on the stove. I have my heat on low. You don't want it to cook um, very fast or burn, especially with the honey and the brown sugar. Stir it up and also give it a taste. That way you can add more ingredients if needed. Um, also, one tip that you can do if you want to thicken the sauce, add a teaspoon of cornstarch to the hot sauce before you put it on the pan. That way your sauce can be a little bit thicker. If you're also making more chicken, you can double and triple the ingredients for the sauce. But we're going to let it simmer for five to seven minutes and then it'll be done. And we are done. So this is the double fried spicy chicken wings. Um, like I said, the chicken wing was so easy to make, especially because of the, the kernel, um, what is it? The Kentucky kernel <laughs> um, flour. It just makes it really easy it takes the guessing work out of seasoning your own flour or what type of flour mixture to use to get the crispiness of the chicken and then also with the dipping sauce like i said it's real easy to make hot sauce butter garlic onion powder i did add a little bit of worcestershire sauce and then also along with the honey you will want to add a little bit of brown sugar just to add a little more sweetness to it depending on your taste of us if you like it more spicy versus the sweetness but everything that i did will be in the description box below 
And I also want you guys to know that I want us to say thank you for rocking with me so far. And if you're new here, welcome. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at How Many Dope Cooking. Also on Pinterest, because a lot of my recipes, I make recipe cards for them, and they're very easy to access on Pinterest. But be sure to like and subscribe. Also hit the bell so you will know when my next video drops. And be sure to drop down in the comments below. Let's chat. Let's talk about how you fry your chicken or if you did use the seasoned flour, the Kentucky Colonel, how did you like it? Um, okay, so before we go, I got to taste this chicken. So let's get a piece. And you hear that crispiness, the crunchiness? That comes from the double frying and also the color. Let's see. Mmm. It is so good. It's crispy. It's seasoned very well. And then with the sauce, you get the heat first and then the sweetness. But I'm going to finish eating this chicken. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> but like I said, you don't have to recorrect the wheel. You can just use common product, products that you find in the grocery store. Get your creative wheels going, and you too can be humming dope in the kitchen. So until next time, I see you guys. Mm -hmm.